That's right. We are watching this cold front that is bringing the potential for some strong thunderstorms, possibly some severe weather as we get into the overnight. I'll talk about what we can expect overnight and Rochelle will have the rest of the forecast. But let's talk about that cold front that's yeah, moving definitely. through right now. And again, Sunday afternoon and evening, we saw that front out towards the west. And then as it is pushing south and east during the overnight, that's when we'll see the potential here for those strong to severe thunderstorms, gusty winds, heavy downpours, and even some small hail. So let's take a look at the radar right now. And again, it is clear here across eastern Virginia and North Carolina, although as we widen the view, you can see that's tornado watch box that's posted up around Washington, D.C. and also back west of Raleigh. And I would not be surprised if we see that watch box extended or another one issued here for eastern Virginia and North Carolina during the overnight. That line continues to move off towards the east right now. We've seen some strong thunderstorms, even some tornadoes back around the Roanoke area a little bit earlier. I'll take off those watch boxes so you can see that line a little bit better as it works its way off towards the east. Now, of course, the overnight is not the prime time for severe weather, but certainly we're concerned that as folks are heading to bed that we get some of those strong thunderstorms moving through. We want you definitely to be on the alert. And here's really our big concern is this storm has a history, this massive storm system we've talked about in the past several days has had a history of producing all kinds of severe weather, including numerous reports of tornadoes. You can see all those icons there with the broken trees. Those are all reports of downed trees. So even if we don't get a tornado, I still think one of our biggest threats will be some of the gusty winds with this line as it works its way through during the overnight. And again, as I mentioned, we have seen several reports of tornadoes, 30 tornado reports, four funnel clouds, and already this storm system has had three casualties and 28 injuries. So as it moves through, again, that's our big concern for the overnight. Here's what it should look like around 11 o'clock. Some of those isolated showers out in western parts of Virginia. But notice quickly as the line gets closer to the coastline, runs into that moist, humid air that we have here with temperatures today up into the low 80s and the dew points were up as well that we will see those thunderstorms likely firing up again one o'clock right along interstate 85 and 95 moving through areas around Richmond and Petersburg by two o'clock continuing to slide east three o'clock that line of heavy heavy thunderstorms stretch from Tappahannock down towards Wakefield and Emporia and by four o'clock notice again future cast showing some of those pinks indicating some very heavy rain possibly some small hail and possibly again some severe thunderstorms just as we're getting ready for 13 News Now at daybreak. And of course, Tim Pandagis will be in as well and we'll be tracking these storms through the morning. By 5 o'clock, I think a lot of that heaviest of the rain will start to push off the coastline. Still some heavy rain across eastern North Carolina. And certainly by 6 o'clock, things will be clearing out pretty nicely. And then the rest of the day, we'll see some falling temperatures. It'll actually be a little bit of a cool afternoon with temperatures in the mid 60s, a little bit below normal and some breezy conditions. Now with the rest of the forecast. Let's head on over to Rochelle, who has what we can expect for the rest of the week. Yeah, Evan, you're exactly right. Tomorrow across the south side, really going to turn out to be a beautiful day, considering what we're seeing earlier in the morning with those potential for severe weather, strong winds, and other incidents that we could be dealing with through those overnight hours heading into the daybreak newscast. We're talking about temperatures in the mid to upper 60s across the south side. You're noticing some sunshine icons, some partly cloudy icons as we move toward the peninsulas as well. Eastern shore checking out. Looks like things are going to get into the lower 60s for tomorrow. So, yes, cooler than we have for today. We were into the 80s. The dew points making it feel closer to the mid 80s across the board. Slightly warmer for tomorrow in areas uh, across northeastern North Carolina. We're looking at closer to 70 degrees versus other areas in the low to mid 60s for tomorrow. So taking a look at that forecast, that sunshine will break out as we move toward the middle part of the morning heading into midday. And then we're going to have looks like maybe some abundant sunshine across at least parts of our area. We may have a few more clouds as we move through the day tomorrow. But tomorrow night, quiet, cool, mainly clear skies, but it is going to be a chilly one as we're heading into Tuesday morning. Temperatures dropping down into the 40s, so we definitely have not felt temperatures like that in a few days. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Everyone, we are looking at another warm up as we move towards Wednesday, Thursday. We're talking about temperatures flirting with 80 degrees once again, but we are going to be tracking our next chance of rain not until Friday, so we do have a break, which is good because we're going to continue to watch what's happening tonight into tomorrow morning all night. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rochelle.